Hello, my name is Adam Dyer. Um, call sign is N4NT, November 4, November Tango. Um, I'm doing a basic uh, overview of how to uh, set up NetLogger to be a net control or a net logging station. Uh, I'm going to do these videos in segments so the information is easier to find. So this first video is strictly going to be just getting things set up ahead of calling a net to help you uh, help make calling a net easier. Um, so we've downloaded our NetLogger program. Uh, it should automatically prompt you to put in your, your call sign and your name. Uh, under name, just put your first name or the name you go by. Like I, I go by my middle name of Adam, so mine will show Adam. Um, next thing we want to do is uh, set up a club profile. And basically this is a file that will store any information that we add and change uh, as we go along as far as our check-ins go. And... Uh, to do that, we'll come up here to Setup and select Club Profile. And uh, we want to create a profile the first time. Now, this is a one-time setup. Uh, after that, as long as that particular profile is the one that's showing, uh, that's what you'll be updating. So we hit Create. And I named mine uh, BARC for Bristol Amateur Radio Club. However, if I, if I log a net for the Mirrors Club, Mountain Empire Amateur Radio Society, it can store this information in this file. I could even call it my profile or, or whatever you want to call it. This is an individual thing for each uh, each operator. Uh, we, we don't have a server where we store these files and share them. Uh, we can find these files and email them amongst each other, but the amount of check-ins that we actually have uh, and the fact that these folks check in on a regular basis uh, once we get everything set up, you're only going to be making a change or two here and there, so it's probably just as easy to just store everything for yourself. Um, if you are the, the net logging station, whatever you put in there, the people who are logged in and observing the net, they're going to see that information, and I'll show you about that in just a minute. So we click OK. Uh, the URL is if you have a server that you store your information on. We don't, don't have that, so this is just going to be on my computer for me. Uh, next thing we want to do is we want to uh, log into that profile or open that profile. So we hit the drop down and hit select, or we select it and then hit select. Okay, um, next thing, let's make sure, go to view, and make sure that manual station highlighter is checked. Once you start calling the net, this will come into play. So make sure that you have that. I'll uh, probably even cover that a second time in the next video. <clears throat> Next thing we want to do is uh, let's go ahead and create our net. Now there is a big blue button here for create net and, it, and you hit that and it's self-explanatory. Um, but my recommendation is, is to go ahead and create your net outside of, uh, if you do it this way, then it goes live once you hit OK. Um, we don't want to do that just yet. We want to set our net up ahead of time. So we're going to create the uh, Bristol, let's see, and one of the etiquettes of net logging is they recommend you keep everything in, in caps. Um, so we're going to go ahead and turn that on and we're going to make the Bristol 2 meter net. And then you can just hit tab. You can't really change anything right there. I don't know why it tabs to that box or and that one I don't, I don't use. Uh, well, we didn't want to do that anyway. So let's jump down here to frequency and our net is on 146.670 and it is an FM net and it is on the two meter band. Net control station, um, I'm not the normal net control operator so what you can do when you create the net, if, if you have different people calling the net and say you're the, the logger uh, and you change that from week to week, just leave it blank. But if you have the same person normally there, like ours is Jim, KL1ZA, We'll go ahead and put him in there. Now we need to save this information. So we go over here to function and add and update current net. And boom, there it is. So when we hit our drop down, as you see, I'd already created the 10 meter net. Now the two meter net is there. So uh, when we uh, go live, and I'll show you in the next video, you can start out this way and then hit create and it'll auto populate some information. Um, next thing we want to do and I reckon that I recommend doing before you ever go live and call a net is um, well one we're going to learn how to do how to modify the information and two I'm going to show you how to put that uh, put it in um, 
ask. So take a look at this real quick, setup and accounts. If you have a online QRZ paid subscription, go ahead and put your login and password in there. It does come in handy. Then you could uh, just tweak the information based on your club itself. I have that, so I'm, I'm logging in. But if you don't have that, you can manually enter everything and save it later and it'll come back. No big deal. You can also do EQSL and LOTW. I don't use NetLogger for that. Um, so we uh, we get a check-in, or, or let's say uh, we, we know some of our regular check-ins, and if you don't have the QRZ account, you want to save yourself some trouble later. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in and save some of their information. Um, so like Jim, KL1ZA. I hit tab, boom. Because I have QRZ, his information is going to pop up. But let's say uh, I could still make changes even even though I have QRZ. So I call him Jim instead of James. So I can come over here and double click this, backspace, get, get rid of that, and I can just put Jim. Boom, that's what comes up. Um, under remarks, maybe I want to store some information there about this person. Uh, maybe uh, he's our Tuesday night neck control station so I want to put that in there um, I need to save this information and this is an individual per check-in thing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to get this uh, this long list of uh, information I'm going to come down here to the bottom and hit add update club info and <clears throat> I'll go up here and I'm going to clear this off edit clear check-ins is what I just did so now when I type in KL1ZA boom there's my information I've changed his name um, the way I want to see it same thing for me in 4 NT and again this has to be done individually so let's say I don't have QRZ and I'm typing in the name and the city and all that this is a this is the way I'm gonna save that information uh, so I don't go by Christopher most of the time we're just all on a first name basis anyway so there's there's that um, I'm the uh, BARC president so if I want to put that information in there to retain for later there it is and then I just right click on my own contact and hit boom add um, again this is individual for each net controller um, so when I log the net this is what's going to show up from now on um, if you're logging the net Personally, you've got to make these changes on your own, or I can share this file with you, that kind of thing. That's why I recommend going ahead and um, putting the, if, putting this info in there on, on people you know that check in on a regular basis. That way, you just type and tab while you're logging the net, and then as you get new check-ins, you just update as you go. But uh, let's see, like Gary, the other night, he was coming up as being in Anderson County, and I changed, okay, so he's, he's right now. Uh, club info for him. He is the BRAC treasurer. I'll just abbreviate that. And uh, I can take his last name off there if I want to and just leave him as Gary. And I'll just do that. Right click, come down to add update club info. And so now, edit, clear check ins. I'll just type Gary in there. Boom, there he is. So that is a, a basic overview of how to set everything up. That way when uh, when net time comes, you're uh, pretty well ready to go. There's a lot more functions to NetLogger than what I've covered. These are just basic functions that uh, pertain to to the groups that uh, that I join in with or that we, lo we log for, uh, that kind of thing. Um, the next video will actually show you um, how to go live but okay so I made a mistake there and double double tap the six so if I want to change that I go I take that extra six out and go up here to add update info and it will update my info um, but anyway uh, join me for the next video and we'll show you how to go live and start logging a uh, net logger session for a for a live net thank you